Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In the previous videos, I have installed OpenWRT on the Mikrotik router board 2011 and it's well working rate. Despite the PPoE with VLANs configuration is a little bit complicated. And in this video, I'm going to perform some tests with the Metrotech Router Board 2011 running OpenWRT19 and compare it with the resolve of the router running Router OS. The test consists of PPPoE speed tests and CPU users overview, got VPN throughput, and shortware offloadings or fast track with both OpenWRT and Router OS. And then there will be open VPN throughput with OpenWRT. And finally, we will run some tests with AdQM QoS. The first test is PPoE with VLAN on OpenWRT. I'm using a 200 Mbps internet plan and we are running at 205 Mbps download and 208 Mbps upload with the CPU at 100% utilization. Let's give a try with Router OS. I'm using Router OS version 7 stable release and with the same PPoE configuration with VLAN. The higher throughput is 180 Mbps for download and 188 Mbps upload. It is slightly slower than OpenVRT. Now let's enable shortware offloading on OpenWRT and give it another try. We can clearly see that the CPU utilization reduced by 50%. We are running at 213 Mbps download and 211 Mbps upload with the CPU at only 50% utilization and we can see that it is around 50 to 60% idle. Let's do the same test on router OS. I'm going to enable fast tracks on the firewall and we'll give it a shot. The result is very close to OpenWRT. 216 MBPS download and 227 MBPS upload. We can see that the CPU load is going back and forth between 20 or 30% and sometimes it goes to 42%. So I'm not really sure what is the CPU utilization at the time of we are running the test, but it should be more or less the same with OpenWRT. Moving on, we have Wygod VPN throughput test. Here, the OpenWRT Wygod interface is already up and running. The higher throughput we have is 54 MBPS for download and 57 MBPS for upload. And on router OS, the maximum throughput is 49 MPPS for download and 40 MPPS for upload. I have run three tests, but unfortunately, 40 MPPS is the highest upload speed I can have. Since router OS doesn't fully support open VPN encryption, I will run the OpenVPN test on OpenWRT only. The high throughput of OpenVPN is 8 MPPS for download and 11 MPPS for upload. Before enabling SQM QoS, let's run the buffer plot test without any SQM QoS. Even though I'm using a 200 Mbps internet plan, the download speed at the buffer plot website is only 114 and the upload speed is only 21 Mbps. This should be something wrong from my ISP or with the buffer plot test server because it cannot get the full speed. Let's run the test again with the shortwave offloading enable. You can see the result is identical to the previous one without shortwave offloading. 
Now I will ping 1.1.1.1 and running the speed test and let's check the ping response time and as you can see we have a request time out and a slightly increase in the ping response time let's disable the shortwave offloading and run the same test now we can see some differences here the ping response time goes up to 43 ms followed by one loss package and with this simple test we can clearly see that the difference is when we turn it on and off shortwave offloading. Now I will enable SQMQS for PPOE 1, set the speed to 200 Mbps and go with kick and piece of case. The download speed will decrease to 63 Mbps but the download active latency goes down to 25 ms. Even though the result is A, but I'm not okay with the result that I have. So I will try to change the Q to FQ code and symbol that QOS. So we can see that the result is almost the same with cakes and piece of cake. I will enable shortwave offloading and run the test again. This time we can see the download active response time decrease to 14. Previously it was 25. There is an improvement with shortwave offloading, but this is not all we want. Let's run the ping test and speed test at the same time. With FQ code and symbol QoS, the ping response time increased by 21 ms during the upload test. and the result is the same after we change it to cakes and piece of case. I think there is something wrong with the speed limit that we set for the one interface and it looks like the router cannot handle 200 Mbps throughput. So let's start from the beginning and try with 90 Mbps. The ping response time looks good when the speed test is running, but I believe the router should do better than that. Let's give another try with 120 Mbps. From test, the router is still doing a good job handling 120 Mbps QS throughput without increase the ping response time during the test. Let's increase the limit to 150 and check it out. Now we start to see the increase in ping response time. Therefore, I'm going to drop the limit to 135 Mbps. We can see that the minimum response time is 29 while the maximum one is 39. Let's do the final adjustment and change the value to 130 Mbps for the one interface. Now I'm not going to ping but downloading a torrent file. It is open to desktop 20. We have a packet loss but the ping remains stable at 29 or 30 ms. The download speed is now 7.3 megabyte per second with around 47 seats but the ping remains stable at 30 ms. With this result, we can say that the Metrotech Router 2011 can handle 130 Mbps SQMQ at throughput. This is with PPE runs on VLAN and if you are running the SCP or just a normal PPOE without VLAN on your one interface, the speed may be higher. And finally, I will change the router one interface to the SCP and let's see what kind of throughput we can have. With shortwave offloading disabled, we have 280 MBbit downloads and 220 Mbps upload. I put three throughput between a LAN device and I put three server in one side is 278 Mbps. And the speed is almost the same for open speed test. It is 255 for download and 
249 for upload. Let's enable showing uploading and run the test again. This time, the download speed go up to 648 Mbps and upload speed reach 700 Mbps. iPub 3 throughput is slower, only 605 Mbps, but it is a very good speed for a 10 years old router. So that's too much for a test video. I'm going to end the video here. And as usual, if you have any idea or sharing regarding this device, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video. Bye bye.